right this circuit board has got some water residue on it what has happened is water dripped onto the circuit board uh, through the, the casing there you can see there's some water residue and uh, I want to make it look like there was no water residue so what you need to do is you need to clean it now if you take a cloth um, you'll probably pull off the surface mount components there's some capacitors resistors on on the circuit board here so what I recommend you do is as follows this is an alcohol based cleaner it's called methylated spirits and it's about a 40 to 50 percent alcohol concentration now this one over here is a rubbing alcohol it's a 90 percent 91 percent anyway as long as it's got some alcohol in and then you take you can use something like a toothbrush and all you need to do is just clean off the water residue you can see now the bristles of the toothbrush do not pull off the surface mount components obviously don't be very vigorous and I'm just cleaning it as you can see here now sometimes the water residue leaves a little bit of like a calcium on the uh, back of this so you almost have to wipe it off almost i don't want to say wash it off but you have to actually get it off so um, even if you do the alcohol you might find that when you dry it you still see the water residue for example i'm going to dry it now Now, if you look here, you can see it's still got this residue. See there, it's on my hand. So you've actually got to get this residue off. I don't recommend using a cloth. So when you do this cleaning, if you can hold it a little bit like that and make it a little bit wet and almost brush it off the circuit board. So I'll show you again now. Now I'm going to rinse the toothbrush. So I've got another one here. And one of the reasons why I use alcohol, alcohol dries very quickly. Now if you have a look at that, you can see it's already improving. If you look there was the water residue and look at this, it's already getting better. So I'm gonna do this again. Right, and if you have a look at that, you can see that there is a considerable difference now between that side and that side. You can see how it is taking away that residue. Now, if you find it's very stubborn and it's still not coming off, then you can get something called contact chemi. Uh, this is a deoxidizer. Because of the water on the terminals, it changes the dielectric strength. It also increases the corrosive effects, especially if it's outdoors. So this helps to take away the residue. So if I spray some on here, you'll see. And if I clean it. Also very effective at removing water residue. Alright, so there you can see the uh, circuit board no longer has any signs of any water damage. On the other side you can see it looks like there's some water residue there, there and look at that. So I'm going to follow the same principle. Just be careful here, don't be rough. Just going to... Alright, so there you can see the circuit board, right there you can see the back, uh, no more water residue. Now on the inside you can see there's the uh, residue of some uh, rust forming. So first thing I'm going to do is just wipe it and now I'm going to take this uh, deoxidizer and just put it on there and let it sit for a bit just to try and uh, remove that you can see it's coming off now if you haven't got uh, the spray uh, you can use vinegar spirit vinegar a very good cleaning product and there you can see a very good cleaner there, vinegar check it out Right, so that's completed. Right, now I've got some uh, residue there of water, so I'm just going to clean it. And I'm just going to clean it with uh, some alcohol. Now, 
Let's try to get that water residue off. It's got a little bit of a of a smear there. And what I find is furniture polish is very helpful in, in masking that. You can see slight uh, residue there. And all I'm going to do is just spray some of this. And just do that. Right, so basically a little bit of an oily substance helps hide the residue. As you can see there, as you can see now, it is much better than it was. All right, so the back plate looks fine. So now I can reinstall the circuit board. If you're trying to hide that you opened this, make sure you use the right head for the screw. You don't want to mark the head. Now this head has no paint, so it doesn't matter. I can just use a normal screwdriver, but for these side screws, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Right, there's the screw. I'm just placing them with my hand. Right, now when it's time to screw them in, you could use a little bit of tape and you put that over your screwdriver head just like that as you can see and now I screw it in right and the other one So there you can see the screws uh, do not look like someone unscrewed them. Just be careful of things like this, trying to use a, a black coaty pen, because what will end up happening is it becomes obvious that you've colored in the screw head. All right, so there's the device. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.